Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today officially marks the end of the 5 year anniversary on Global. Some people are sad to see it go because they enjoyed the events, had some great luck. Other people are very happy that it's gone now because they got shafted or they didn't enjoy the event or whatever other reason they have. Honestly, for me personally, it was pretty awesome, man. I really enjoyed it, but you could say that I'm a little bit biased based on the insane luck that I had. But either way, it doesn't really matter. The anniversary is officially over, but we do have a brand new campaign to replace it right away. The Kefla campaign, which is officially on. So without further ado, let's pop into the news and see what's going on together. Okay, so here we go. They called it the Crank It Up Maximum Power Campaign. Okay. And it says there's the new Kefla, of course, that transforms into Super Saiyan 2 with an active skill. We also have login bonuses. We have a new stage of a story event. And a new Dokkan event will also be available during the event period. Okay. Part 1. We have login bonus. Standard. We have submissions. Standard. We have training success doubled. Awesome. And also some of the worst Dragonstone sales I've seen in a long time for any campaign. Like that is just terrible. That is terrible, Bandai. What is this? 50, or sorry, 32 stones for 50% off one time. And then 91 stones, 20% off only three packs though. That's really bad. Do they want us to buy stones for Kefla or not, man? Like this is, this is one of the worst sales I've seen in a long time. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, moving on, we got the, of course, the Kefla banner, the new, you know, Dokkan Fest unit on Global, along with the Intibados, and uh, this banner was unchanged from the JP banner. So exactly the same featured units. Uh, one difference, one big difference, is that there are three steps, just like the uh, Beerus banner had. So first step, 30, no, 25 stones for five characters with a guaranteed SSR. Step two is 30... 30 stones for seven character with, with, with blah, 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 seven characters with a guaranteed SSR. And the last step, step three, is 10 characters, 45 stones for also with a guaranteed featured SSR. So uh, overall, pretty good deal. Hopefully this becomes the norm. I think it will because we've had two Dokkan Fest banners back to back with the discount. So maybe every single normal Dokkan Fest banner in the future on Global will have this special discount, which would be pretty awesome. It would be pretty awesome. And then we have the Rapid Growth Category Banner, which I think everybody should skip. But I mean, these three are actually amazing. So as far as category banners go, I guess it's not the worst. We should probably still skip, honestly. And then we have the Elder Kai Banner. We have the Token Event for Kefla. We have a new stage for the Warriors of Universe 6 Story Event that gives us the exclusive skill orbs for Universe 6 characters. We have, let's see, two new stages for Infinite Dragon Ball History, which is available in a couple hours from now, depending on when you're watching this. But uh, it's going to be 10.30 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then we also have a new Infinite Dragon Ball History, or sorry, no, uh, new Ultimate Clash, new Battlefield, dropping at the same time as these stages. And uh, a couple of story events, returning uh, Tournament of Power, basically, and also Universe 6 Saga. And uh, the Whis event will now be available once per week as opposed to every single day. I didn't really get anything from it anyways. I got a few good things, but I got like one gold skill orb the entire time. So I'm probably not going to miss it too much. And uh, we also have the Fizz type banner dropping on the 20th. Along with the token awakenings for the Boo as well as the Gohan. And uh, also a new story event on the 20th too. Wait, is this a new... Like new event for both global and jp am i crazy did global or did jp get the story event already i don't remember it could be a global first story event but i could also be wrong so don't take my word for it but either way new story event for global possibly global first maybe not i have to check but yeah the fearsome majin story event uh, Gourmet Chocolates and Recruit Goku Angel, Gohan Teen, and Goten Teen. Or sorry, Goten Kid. I don't remember if we got this or if JP got this. Why am I blanking right now? Okay, doesn't matter. You guys can tell me in the comments. And then we also have the World Tournament Reborn story event coming back. And uh, that seems to be it for 
this celebration. Now, as far as some of the other stuff that we were expecting to get, like the, um, uh, what do you call it, chain battle events, as well as the extreme super battle road, and also the EZAs for the Fizz Kale and AGL Khalifla. I think they might still be coming for a part two. There is a part two to the missions, right? There is a part two to the, mi to the missions, which start on the 16th. But as we know, with the Beerus campaign from a couple months ago, or like a month and a half ago, there were part two missions, but there weren't really new events for part two. So I'm thinking those events might be coming for like the countdown campaign or during the actual campaign for the download celebration, as opposed to the Kefla campaign. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure right now, honestly. I'll be straight up. Like, I don't really know what the plan is. So there might be like part two events coming too with the EZAs as well as, you know, uh, Chain Battle, Extreme Super Battle Road, all that stuff that I talked about in a previous video. And uh, I based that off of, of course, what the uh, the Oh My Gotcha website by Team Dokener said, which typically is very accurate. So I thought we were going to get those for this campaign, but you still might. It's not confirmed right now, but there's a chance they might be coming a little bit later. But I think the latest we'll get Chain Battle and Extreme Super Battle Road and uh, that other stuff I talked about is probably during the download campaign. So sooner rather than later. Right, sooner rather than later, maybe in a couple weeks, maybe in a month or so, okay? And uh, as far as the special missions go, we're getting 31 stones in total, which is not bad. That's for, uh, that, is that for part 1 and part 2? I think it might be part 1 and part 2 for 31 stones. And also login bonus, a total of 17 stones, and uh, your standard stuff, nothing too crazy here. Training items, uh, some support items, Hercule statues, some orbs. All right, I'll take it. And what else? Uh, new stages for Infinite Dragon Ball History. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else to see here. So that is the Kefla campaign. Um, hopefully a part two coming with like new events instead of just the new missions, but I can't confirm or deny. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I mean, not the most exciting if this is all we have, but of course, we do have the download celebration after with a ton of stuff coming, that's for sure. So um, don't be too upset if it's not what you were hoping for. All right, but that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be posting my Kefla summons in a couple hours, so stay tuned for that. I already did them, but I won't let you know what happened because that's a secret. Watch the video to find out. But as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out